Now, so we have left out with entropy and uh, available energy. Okay. So if you see the entropy, so entropy is derived from the second law of thermodynamics. It's derived from second law of thermodynamics. So, so you remember like we have solved uh, heat engine problems we say this is source at T1 and this is engine and you get work done and you supply heat Q1 you reject heat Q2 to the sink T2 Correct. So, here we said the efficiency of the engine is equal to Q1 minus Q2 by Q1 because W is equal to Q1 minus Q2. Right? W is equal to Q1 minus Q2. We also said this Q1 and Q2 are the properties of the temperature. This is equal to T1 minus T2 by T1. Right? So, this would become 1 minus Q2 by Q1 is equal to 1 minus T2 by T1. So here we said so Q1 by T1 is equal to Q2 by T2. Right? We said we 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 said this. So when there are problems with uh, multiple engines, something like uh, so there is one more engine here E1 and E2, and you reject Q3 and uh, sink T3. And you have T2 here, one more reservoir. So you said Q1 by T1 is equal to Q2 by T2 is equal to Q3 by T3, something like that we said, right? So this Q by T term, so this term Q by T is called your entropy. Is called your entropy. Okay? This Q by T is called your entropy and if uh, if I do the cyclic integral of Q by T, if I get this as 0, if I get this as 0, when Q by cyclic integral of Q by T as in the whole cycle, if I do the entire Q by T's, if I do the entire Q by T's, I should, if I get 0 and this is a reversible cycle, And if I do Q by T which comes less than zero, this is irreversible cycle. Irreversible cycle. Okay. So uh, in one of the problems, uh, consider any of the problems. So I'll say there is a uh, reservoir at the uh, one point zero zero Kelvin, and this is engine. So let's say some uh, 5 kilojoules of heat is supplied and 2 kilojoules of heat is rejected and this is at 500 Kelvin, right? And you get work as 3 kilojoules, correct? You get work as 3 kilojoules. So what is your Q by T here? So 5000 by 1500 minus 2000 by 500. If it comes as a zero, it is a reversible cycle, right? If this this difference, I mean this example, this is the Q, Q1 by T1 minus Q2 by Q, T2, right? This is a heat rejection, that's why I have taken minus sign. It is not equal to zero here, so it is impossible. I mean it is impossible, it is not a reversible process, it is a irreversible process. So if you want to make it as a reversible, you need to give some extra work. You understand what I am trying to say, right? In this example, so what is my uh, sigma q by t, which is equal to integral cyclic integral, right? So which is q1 by t1 minus q2 by t2. So this would be equal to, in this case, 
so which is 5000 by 1500 minus 2000 by 500 so this would be somewhere some 3.33 3 minus 4 which is what minus 0.67 right so minus 0.67 Whatever the problems you have solved so far, whatever the problems you have solved so far, do this, do this, and if you get zero I here, that is a reversible cycle. If you get negative, which is less than zero, which is irreversible. So this is reversible. This is irreversible. Right? If I want to make it as irreversible, what I should do? I should increase this portion, right? I should increase this portion to that. To do that, I need to add some work. How much work I should add? Some 1 kilo load of work I should add. And this 1 kilo load of work, what will happen? 2 kilo load plus 1 kilo load, this would become 6 kilo load. This would be 6000. Now this would become 4 and 4. So this would become 0. Correct? So this is, so the entropy is the property of the system. It's just a ratio between the heat supplied and the temperature. And if you do, uh, let's say you have a process. So what to, to take any of the process, sorry, P and P. Take any of the cyclic process. Let's take Preton cycle for now. So I have one, two, three, four. So unlike heat and work, the entropy are the properties. You will have entropy at 1, you will have entropy at 2, you will have entropy at 3. Entropy is denoted with the S. If you get sigma S as 0, that's a reversible cycle. And if you get sigma S as less than 0, it's irreversible. So in all this gas power cycles, what we discussed, gas power steam power cycle, what we studied, all are reversible. You can go back and check how much is your entropies. Right? So with this formula, we have, we can derive for all the processes, all the non-flow processes. So let's assume, let's derive uh, constant uh, volume process. So in the PV diagram, this is the PV diagram. You'll have something like this. One, two. So in the TS diagram. So it's a, it's a compression process, so your temperature will go up and your entropy will go up, so your temperature goes up, so that means uh, your entropy would also go up, so something like this, right? So this is the TS diagram, okay? So in the PV diagram, we said the area under PV curve gives the work transfer, right? In the PV diagram, the area under PV curve PV, PV curve gives the work here it gives the heat so if you multiply T and S TDS, you will get heat so otherwise heat is also given as T into DS DS is the entropy difference Okay, now if I have to de uh, derive the equation for entropy, so uh, what is my heat transfer? So my work done, my work is equal to, this is a constant volume process, PdV which is 0, because there is no volume difference, PdV is 0, my internal energy is equal to MCV dt, my internal energy is equal to MCV dt 
So my heat is equal to W plus du, which is MCV dt again. This is MCV dt again. Now, uh, what is my ds? It is integral dq by t. If I do the integration, I'll get. So this is integral MCV dt by t. I'll get. Integral dt by t. DC, uh, integral CV by uh, d, d, CV into dt by t. I'll get. So MCV is my constant. If I do the integration. I'll get ln p2 by t1. So this is the entropy formula for constant volume process. MCV ln t2 by t1. Okay. And similarly for the constant pressure process, similarly for the constant. pressure process so my work is pdv which is p into v2 minus v1 pressure is constant and this can be written as mr t1 minus t2 t2 minus t1 which is mr dt correct pv2 mr t2 pv pv1 mr t1 so mr dt and my internal energy is equal to mcv dt so my heat would become w plus du which is mr dt plus mcv dt which is m into r plus cv into dt which is mcp dt this is the heat MCPDT. Okay. Now, now, if I want the ds, what I need to do? Q by t, which is integral MCPDT by t. So this is from here. Ds is equal to MCP ln t2 by t1. MCP ln T2 by T1, ln T2 by T1, correct? So entropy is what? Q by T, integral Q by T. So you will get MCP ln T2 by T1, a constant pressure process. Similarly, you can derive it for the other processes also. So for the isothermal process, what will happen? Isothermal process. So you will have Isothermal process. What is the uh, what is the meaning of isothermal process? Temperature is equal to constant. Correct. So, uh, what is the work here? PDV integral PDV. So that is you will get M R. You will get P1 V1 ln V1 by V2. Or P2 by P1. So this is the work formula. You can uh, go back and check your notes. They have derived this, and this is also given as MRT ln V1 by V2. Correct? This is the work, right? Or, or is equal to MRT ln V2 by P1. This is the work. So du is what MCV dt for all the process, and temperature is constant. So this d2 would become zero. So uh, du is equal to zero. So in this process, what we will have? Q is equal to W. So which is equal to MRT ln V1 by V2 is equal to MRT ln P2 by P1. So Uh, entropy is equal to Q by T, which is M R T L N V one by V two by T, and there is no uh, differentiate this thing, so this would become 
MR into LN V1 by V2. So TS in uh, isotropic uh, in constant temperature process is MR LN V1 by V2 is equal to MR LN V2 by P1. 